to the ninth move of the uh, 18 form Qigong sequence. It's called pushing palms. Helps the, uh, with nutritional form, this helps the, the bowel, bladder, pericardium, large intestine, and also the stomach. They're the sort of, um, how do I explain it, the organs that they're benefiting within the postures and the movements within the traditional forms. Um, I'm not going down that road, we're going more of the sort of Pilates setup and the yogic setup. Um, in the last video, I made a mistake, it was the wrong one. Um, <laughs> basically, I jumped for the move, but it doesn't matter, I'm going to redo them now. So, uh, number nine in the 18 form Qigong sequence is the pushing palms, okay, and then it's cloud hands. Um, I said the next one, number nine, is the cloud hands. So again, we're going to go for pushing palms, um, which is just a basic motion. You can either go as deep as you like, or not. But we're going to go, the main thing is the breathing, the different breathing. So we're going to go with a Pilates breath mixed with the yogic principles and the hypnotic breathing. So from there, we're just going to simply zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine, and breathing it out through the nose. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Unlike the Pilates breath, you exhale through pursed lips, we're not doing that, we're breathing in and out through the nose. Okay, so it's a smaller, smaller filter through the nose, and we can elongate the out breath, or all the breath, longer, but especially the out breath. That's a smaller filter through the nose, and that helps us filter the breath, helps us cleanse the body, nice cleansing breath, yogic breath, okay. Also, we're adding that hypnotic breath with an elongated exhale. So with that, we start now, we zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, take the navel towards the spine. We're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the nose and allow the out breath just to fall longer than the in breath, okay? So as you do that now, as you zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, you're gonna breathe in through the nose and out for the nose and just allow the out breath to fall longer than the in breath okay that's going to bring in that hypnotic parasympathetic nervous system out breath that benefits that parasympathetic nervous system if you're going to go for ujjayi breath feel free you're going to tighten at the esophagus or the throat and you make this ujjayi breath if you can't get it don't worry just carry on zipping up pelvic floor right now scooping out your abdominals breathing in through the nose and out from the nose. And elongate the out breath. Longer than the in breath, you wanna make it ujjayi breath. We're breathing in through the nose. And out through the nose. As you grip at the esophagus, you make that ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Soft, silky, whistling ujjayi breath, which helps with weight control, etc. Helps you just build the heat in the body, helps us fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath. So as you do that now, we're gonna link that to a nice simple motion called the pushing palms. Now again, you can be up high or down deep, but I would go no deeper than knees and lower toes. If you want to keep it shorter, the stance, and stay up higher, you can do, and just go with a stance. Again, as with all Qigong posture, you can go down as deep as you like, again, only a personal thing, I won't go further than knees and arm and toes for safety. Um, so you go there. So from there, I'm gonna do it up high, we're gonna breathe in. And exhale for as long as you like. As you see the silhouette of the hand just passing past the eyes. And then just start again with the breath, breathing through the nose. And exhaling for as long as you like. It's a uh, Then breathing, start again, and go again. That'll give the mind something to focus on. If you want to turn a little bit, you can do, and come into that a little bit more, as if you're sort of turning off a skewer through your head, and just simply elongate the out breath and start again. Allow that simplicity to relax the mind. I'm gonna go back and demonstrate that so you can see the legs. Again, you can be up high here doing it, or down deeper, slightly horse riding stance, with slight V, but not Charlie Chapman on the feet, 
and you're going to come from here. You're going to breathe in and exhale. Just keeping the shoulders down as you see the silhouette of the hand passing past the eye line. Lovely. So that was number nine in the 18 form Qigong sequence. We added that onto the eight. So the eight brocades, um, and then we got another nine to add on. So again, this is gonna be like a like 33 move form in all. But again, you can either do these singly, that's why we do the breath first, and just do these moves singly, or you can do them within the form, okay? Lovely, so that was number nine. So now it's cloud hands next, is number 10 in this move. I put it wrong, the last one. So I've renagged that. Um, so I've just seen it on the video. Lovely, but it doesn't matter. You can do this singular, just for relaxation on their own. It doesn't really matter. It's more, we're linking the breath to the motion and elongating the out breath with some motion. Again, the more traditional ones are done on other videos um, with these moves going more for the organs that they're benefiting and the meridians, the electromagnetic rivers that are being benefited. But again, just go with it. You don't have to focus on anything. Each and every single organ cell, sinew of the body, will be benefited by the breath, okay? And as you do that, as you get more and more used to it, as you do it, you'll be breathing the breath, as it were, but again, the breath will breathe you as you get more and more into that. Especially if you're repeating a motion over and over again, especially with that elongated exhale. And that'll give the mind something to focus on, especially that Ujjayi breath, if you get that. That'll give the mind something to focus on as you're doing it. Okay, lovely. So Cloud Hounds next, number 10 of the 18th form Qigong sequence. Added on today, it'll be the 18th move of a long form, 30 odd move form. Lovely, bang.